Hey, Tony here. So today I'm going to head out to Barnes & Noble for my second Barnes & Noble Criterion Haul. And I wanted to take you with me, so let's go. just got home from my Barnes & Noble trip. i um, very excited about the 14 titles that I picked up. Um, the last time I went to Barnes & Noble, it was a different location and I had my list with me and I knew exactly what I was going to pick up. So, um, and plus I had the opportunity to be able to sit through all of, all of the titles since it was the first day of the sale. And I was really happy with what I picked up. Um, and I'm, I'm going to link a video up here of my last Criterion haul. Um, but this go around, I actually had a theme in mind, or maybe two themes that I really wanted to focus on. And I was pretty successful in getting all the items that I wanted. So I thought I would go ahead and take time today to show you what all I picked up. Okay, so first off, I wanted to pick up some titles. Um, one of them is a new release. And two of them, two of the other ones are recommendations. Um, so I did finally get um, Bringing Up Baby. I've been looking forward to this release for quite some time. And so very happy to have this one in hand. And I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. Um, I finally picked up Ghost World. This has been on my wish list for a while. I never did um, pick it up in the past. And so um, I went ahead and just grabbed this one since I saw that it was in stock. And then the last one that I picked up um, just randomly was Blowout. Um, this stars John Travolta and Nancy Allen. I've heard a lot of great things about it, so I finally um, was able to add this one to the collection. Okay, the next um, set I'm going to show you is a samurai type theme. Um, I wanted to get a few of the samurai movies. So first up, I got Lone Wolf and Cub. I've heard a lot of great things about this one. Um, the last Barnes & Noble I went to said that it had one in stock, but I never could find it. I think somebody might have been hiding it, but I was able to find it at this location. So really excited to check this one out. I've heard nothing but great things about it. And since I got that one, I also picked up the um, Samurai Trilogy. I'm not very familiar with these titles, um, but I definitely wanted to add to the Samurai um, collection. And then lastly from that set, I got um, Lady Snowblood, or the complete Lady Snowblood. 
Um, all, I have also heard a lot of great things about this particular um, release. And so finally happy to have this one in the collection. So my last group of films um, are all Charlie Chaplin films. Um, for whatever reason, I came across a few titles of the Charlie Chaplin um, Criterion Collection. And so I thought I was going to go ahead and just try to find all of them that I could find. So I'm not sure exactly if I got them all or not. So please let me know if you know of any other titles from the Criterion releases um, with Charlie Chaplin. But first up, I got um, Limelight. I am not very familiar with any of these titles, specifically this one. Um, I haven't really heard much about that one. But I have heard a lot of great things about City Lights. So happy to have this one. I've heard about The Circus. Really like the artwork on this one. Um, also, I've heard about Modern Times. So happy to have this one also in the collection. And then I picked up The Kid. I've heard a lot of great things about this one too. I've heard about Gold Rush, The Gold Rush. And I found this one and added it to the collection. Now this is one I didn't really know about. It's The Great Dictator. I really do like the packaging on this one. As you can see, um, we have um, Charlie Chaplin right here. And we have Hitler right there. So they do use the title um, both ways, which is pretty interesting. Um, definitely looking forward to checking this one out. And then the last one of the Charlie Chaplin films I got was is this one. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it, but I really do like the artwork on this one. And um, it's very, um, very happy to have this one in the collection. Now, one observation that I have about these particular releases is, um, so let me go ahead and show you all the spines on those, that these particular releases are pretty heavy. So I'm assuming that they all have pretty good uh, booklets inside, but they all do have some weight behind them. So I think that's great, and I'm definitely looking forward to checking all of these out. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've had any of these in your collection, and maybe some of your recommendations of which ones I should check out first. Um, I really do appreciate all of your um, feedback, and I really appreciate your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.